All right, well, here's Scoremore's program. I have the Arduino program decoded and wired up to a 5 volt relay. And those are the ball lights, the LEDs on that module board. Um, when the lights are lit up, that means the relays are not powered. Right now the program is set up for the ball one, so that's why the, the one LED is actually out right now. And I have the infrared sensors hooked up. One side's powered up with just a 12 volt battery. I found that the way that this is coded, that this IR sensor here actually needs to be powered up from the microprocessor board. And there's my uh, webcam. There's a Logitech 720 HD. And then here's my little test pin area. So right now we're showing no scoring there. So what I'll do is I'll just wipe a couple of these pins away real quick. We'll just do three for now. So all I do here is I just stick my hand in there real fast. And voila, there's our three pins. And my hand might have been in there too quickly, so I didn't show up the miles per hour. But I'll put my hand in there again. But I want you to see this. See that second LED light? went out that's because we're on ball two now and those other two lights are for the spare light and the strike light and then watch that light there. there's a receiver light I'll put my hand in there for there it goes And there we got some speed on that one. I held my hand in there a little bit longer. And then we're back down here. The first LED light is out, meaning ball one light should be on. Of course, there's nothing hooked up here. That's This is where you would hook up all your circuitry for all your lights or whatever you want to run. And I got some uh, pretty cool ideas on the strike and spare light. Just the way it's coded. Um, I'll share that. But we're just doing some testing here. Alright, for our next test, we're going to try the spare light. So we're on uh, the second frame. Ball one, according to the LED light being out. So we'll just stick our hand in there. Three pins. And there's our miles per hour. It even shows what pins got knocked down. Everything matches up down here. So let's reach over here real quick. We'll remove all these guys. That one pin that I... Uh, had the crown and Brunswick stuff. I just did that tonight. Just playing around with some vinyl. I have a vinyl cutter. Alright, let's uh, show you there real quick. We're still on ball two. Come over here and stick your hand in there. And a spear. And that third LED light did go out. That's our spare light. Shows up there as a spare. Alright. We're going to leave the pins down. For this next one. So we're on frame 3. Ball 1. That first LED light is out. So let's get a strike. We'll stick our hand in there. You see that red light over here. Hitting. Alright, it says we have strike. And 
both three and four LED lights on here were out. And that's the way that is designed. Mainly because you would run two LED strips. And you would make an X out of it. So if you get a, a spare, you would get, you know, the one side of the X. And then if you were going to strike, then both those circuits would light up to make an X. My idea is to basically use a 5-pin 12-volt relay, just some automotive relay. And when that strike light comes on, it would basically power up the spare circuit with the relay hooked up to it. And then that would actually shut that off. The reason I want to do that is instead of having an X and a, a slash for the spare, I want to actually have the letters spelled out like, you know, strike, the word strike, and the word spare. And I want those to actually light up individually when you get, you know, one or the other. And another thing with the, the ball lights, I would actually like to spell out the word ball. And then have the two circuits separated, you know, like when ball one is on, I want it to say number one. And then when ball two is on, I want ball one to shut off and only two to be on. So that's that. Let's throw one pin up here just to represent that we're going to get nine pins. That would make no sense there, but whatever. Alright, so we're on ball one on the fourth frame. Here we go. Boom, there's the LED. Okay, now you see how both those lights are out one and two? That would mean that those lights are both on right now. If we were to run it the way that it was programmed or coded to be. So I would have to run another relay, like a 12 volt, five pin relay. So to have an open state and then a normally closed state. So when one of the lights would come on, it would basically power the other circuit off. So one would come on at a time. Let me know if you guys want to see more of that. I'm going to be building my lane here over the next few weeks. And I'll try and get as much footage of that as I can. But I really would like to get into how to wire these things up and you know what's going on with what. Because there's really not a whole lot of information. But uh, that's it for now. Just kind of playing around with it don't have an actual lane built yet so just wanted to make sure everything was up and running thanks for watching guys